back up the line, of course, have been in the development for three years now, and we had the opportunity to look at the demo to figure out do it actually live up to the hype on the non-existing heights, and everybody seemed to think the game got canceled. Pretty much the gameplay from all affiliate with it, it just mainly made up a third person shooting with a little bit of environment stuff, but nothing too heavy. And the only real issue I have with it personally right now is uh, just the aiming seemed a little off, as I think you pointed out, the environment being a little bland. But I, I am still personally pretty interested in this. Oh yeah, and like honestly, I had no idea. I or just had ignored or didn't know that this was actually coming out. So when you pointed up the demo to me, I went, "Yeah, sure, I heard about that game. I think I'll play a little bit of it." As I'm downloading, you see, you said, "Oh yeah, it's kind of like a Gears of War crossed with Rainbow Six, crossed yeah. with you uh, know, so calm. Tom, yeah, so calm." So I mean, I was kind of expecting what it gave to me, you know, cover-based shooting. And as we talked about, the environments are pretty bland and they're kind of short-sighted i guess like yeah. it seems like well, it's kind of like gears of war i mean gears of war you're moving from set piece to set piece and you don't really see anything beyond that but this one seemed like a lot of sand so i mean you're kind of you're, you're, it's kind of fitting but um the uh, sensitivity on the sticks on the aiming it was set at a default of three and what I did bumped, you i i bumped it down to two and i could probably bump it down to one yeah, and be I... more comfortable with it. But usually with the sensitivity of the sticks, I mean, like on a on a controller, I'm usually bumping them up, you know, two or three notches above what the default is. But this one was really, it, it wasn't floaty, but it was really, it was it was kind of mouse pointer click or quick for what the controller sticks were doing. So, and again, like you said, the as 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 I had pointed out, I said as I was playing it, I said, yeah, the the uh, the quick shot. Or the the sh firing from cover seems really fucking accurate. <laughs> yeah, I'm honestly surprised how accurate that ended up being because I love the sensitivity alone, and I was hitting stuff. I was hitting way more stuff long. I was behind cover and just shooting. Yeah, I mean, as, as long as you had an assault rifle on, it, it's pretty it's pretty prey and spray with a with a little micro machine with a little micro machine gun. But with the with a regular size uh, assault rifle, you just had to kind of point over them and press your your shoot from behind cover and it would take them out so pretty deadly the one thing that i noticed when um or that i was a little wary of when um looking over the options uh, and it said uh, right bumper was squad commands and i really fucking hate squad command tactical shooters not my cup of tea but this one seemed to kind of seem to not dumb it down but make it a simple thing you have two you have two squad mates and it seemed like the the scenario chose which um, team squad mate you interacted with and all you did was scroll over what needed to be done and pr what, who needed to be attacked or you know what um, what set piece needed to be taken out and press the right bumper and they did it and then you moved on yeah and what so, I noticed from it like I was sitting there through half of the demo and I ain't really fighting and just let my team do the work for it yeah I, I, I was actually like a few times I was I was um, I'm I'm in a firefight and there's a couple of guys that they were rushing past. They're standing right beside them, but the AI wouldn't fire at them. They kept running past, so I'd have to deal with them. So I'm constantly playing catch up yeah. with my with my teammates. It's like, yeah. and then all of a sudden it would go to a, a sort of kind of checkpoint and they'd appear behind me. So yeah. I, I I don't know what's up with that, but they they seem capable if not too capable. Yeah, the AI for the teammates seem to be really good, but at the same time, the AI for the opponent, not so much. Yeah. Since I don't think I've really seen them move all that much. They mainly stay in one area and shoot. Yeah, it seemed like they had, like, during the during the bigger firefights, they just kind of kept spawning from one point, and then they duck behind something, and then they run over and duck behind something else. Yeah. But they never really moved from, you know, they never really moved forward or backwards, they just kind of moved side to side and made you swivel your gun back and forth. Because yeah. I think I only got like blush maybe twice, and it seemed like that enemy type all I do is just one up and hit you with a knife. Yeah, and that that was like the oh we've got a close come we've got a close quarters combat expert on us, and there's just some guy running at you going semper fi. And reminded me of uh what was it uh Borderlands, the little midgets and that. Yeah, they kind of reminded me of uh, Charlie Sheen from Platoon. <laughs> That too. <laughs> when he's, he's got that 
that, or, or actually like Charlie Sheen from uh, the Hot Shots movies, when he's got the the Rambo headband on and he's just running around screaming. <laughs> Hey, the dude did have fate paint on. So. <laughs> Semper chicken. But as of so, right now, I, I'm still fairly looking forward to this. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm interested in it. Um, it is like despite the the I, I, I hate to be graphically a, a graphic fashionista, but light bloom was so five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> the light bloom in this game is over the top. Like not it just everything is a reflective surface. It seems, but uh, I'm cautiously, cautiously optimistic about it. I, as Troy found out, there, from what we know, there's not going to be any co-op multiplayer. Yeah. And oh. that's kind of the deciding factor for me with a game like this, because this to me seems like a an army of two style game where it would be more fun if you're playing with someone that you knew or playing in like in a, in a your own squadron of friends with a team of three. Yeah, it only so much that the conversation that your teammate doing with you can hold up. So they're constantly talking. Yeah, talking about bullshit, and you'll sneak up behind soldiers, and they're talking about the girl they banged or a bad jug of milk that they drank. You know, and that that those are kind of the same thing. Yeah, but, and from my, what I looked up about the multiplayer of it, just normal Call of Duty, kill people to gain porks and unlock items. The only thing that seemed interesting about it is the ability to throw rocks at people. <laughs> and it will actually show up on the on the queen as a grenade, so you can kill people out of cover by throwing rocks at them. Stealth rock. Exactly. Can I upgrade my stealth rock, please, sir? Jesus, I mean, that that kind of that kind of knocks it down for me. <laughs> Sorry. Like I would like knowing that, or not knowing, but seeing that there is probably not going to be any co-op multiplayer in it, and I'm not going to play this game ever multiplayer, um, other than to just tinker with it and see if there's anybody playing and how bad I am at it. I would pay thirty dollars for this, yeah. and you know what? If if there wasn't the rock throwing thing in it, probably thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> And I probably would pay about the same amount, but like I was yeah. talking to you, I will probably end up just winning it. So, yeah. You know, the campaign probably only going to be maybe a dozen hours, if that, if we lucky. Well, yeah, I mean, like eight, eight to ten hours, I'm expecting. And, oh, you know, it, it, it might be interesting. And like you said, Troy, there might be monsters. Maybe. He'll hoping. Of course, you got to play the demo to actually weed into that, like me. Yeah, but, so. but. Of course, you can get back up the line for fifty nine ninety nine, and what was it, June twenty sixth? June twenty sixth, yes. Twenty sixth, which yeah. is for Xbox three sixty and also on PlayStation three. Yeah, so here's hopefully hope the hoping that they can, they can do more polish in the next couple of weeks before it goes gold. Yeah, and also since they say at the beginning of the demo this is an early build, so question is how early? Yeah, like what uh, what game was that that they had that? There was people playing a you know five or six month old build of oh Battlefield. Yeah. Remember they were playing like a five or six month old build of that game as a demo. So you know what this might be one of those games. I hate Battlefield. I don't ever want to play that game. But I'm kind of hoping that same situation applies to this because I I'm interested in this game like in the scenario and the same kind of you know CIA you know betrayal, battlefield, bad company style that's got yeah. going on, but I just want it to be better than what the demo was. Yeah, since it actually have a unique angle to it, and not another, I'm in the army, like, go kill tail with doy lines. Yeah, and I, and, and I want Nemesis in there. <laughs> that will be a plus. Nemesis in Dubai. There we go. 